recurring. The number three is recurring. So we put the dot on top of three only. Yeah. Okay, explain number two. Number two, since four and three are recurring, we put a dot on top of both of them. Okay. Next one. Next one, uh, five, six, and nine are recurring, so we put uh, dots on them. But do we put, look at the dots? The six doesn't have a dot. So we put the dot, where did we put the dot? On the recurring numbers. Yes, the six is recurring. We didn't put it on the six. Do you know why? Uh, is it? No, I don't know. Okay. Because they put it on the first number that's recurring and they put it on the last one. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, yeah. The first one is the put on the first and the last. And the reason is just because mathematicians don't like to write plenty of things. It's quicker. So if 10 things are recurring, you put it on the first one mm -hmm. and on the last one. That's just a quick way. If you see what I mean. Yeah, I see what I mean. Okay, the next one. The next one. one. Only uh, one and three are recurring, and two is only th there for one time. So we put uh, dots on one and three. So put a dot only on the one and three. That's correct. Okay, the next one. The next one. Both the numbers eight and three are recurring, so we put a dot on them. Okay, put a dot on the next one. And the last one. The last one, five is only there once, so we don't put it on it, but we put on the number, the a dot on number six and seven. Okay. So you know which ones are recurring. Now, if we want to convert, what would this one be to a recurring decimal? 0 0.4, then you put a dot, dot on it. Okay, correct. So that one would be 0 0.4. Now, how do we write it as a fraction? You see what I mean? You got, have you got your calculator with you? Yeah. What's four divided by nine? Zero point four recurring. Recurring. So can you see here, you can write 0 0.4 recurring, 0 0.4 recurring, you can write it as 4 over 9. And I'll show you how they did that one. I don't know why this pen is going to be. What you do is you use, a the, the, some people use the letter F, but let's use X. Let's use X to be that 0 0.4444444. You see that? Yeah. And then after that, because it's only one number that's recurring, you times by 10. When you times by 10, this will become 4.44444. Can you see that? Yeah. And then you subtract. You do equation two, take away one. So I'll put it here where I can write the put the subtract so that you see how it's done. That's equation two. That's equation one. We we'll put them so that they match. So when you subtract them, so equation two take away one. If you notice everything is in a straight line, the equals to in a straight line. That's very important. This 10x is in a straight line. This 0.4 is in a straight line. This is in a straight line. This is in a straight line. So that you can subtract them. So that you can do four take away four is zero. 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 Four take away zero is 
Oh, oh. Ten take away one X. Nine X. Can you see that? Yeah. So nine X equals to four. So X equals to four over nine. If you write all of that exactly as it is, this is very, very important. Mm. That's what they ask you in the exam. So you need to know this, write it exactly as it is. 